The Cognitech Tri-Suite software package includes Cognitech Video Investigator, Cognitech Video Active, and Cognitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cognitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. One of Video Investigator's primary functions, Remove Pattern, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Video Investigator's Remove Pattern filter offers an easy way to automatically and manually remove features such as repetitive noise and patterns from images and videos. One of the most exciting applications for the Remove Pattern filter is in the enhancement of Latin fingerprints. Latin fingerprints are often digitally lifted from heavily textured backgrounds and sources where a pattern may hinder print recognition. By using the Remove Pattern filter, a pattern can be separated from the print for improved feature recognition and automated fingerprint analysis. Video Investigator's Remove Pattern filter accomplishes this by using a Fourier transform. A Fourier transform is a tool which can be used in image processing to separate an image into its harmonic components. When an image undergoes a Fourier transform, the result will be a representation of the image in the frequency domain. The image on the right is the Fourier transform of the image on the left. Fourier transforms are particularly useful for identifying patterns. In an image's Fourier transform, distinct patterns in an image's frequency amplitude will often manifest themselves as localized regions that are brighter than the surrounding areas. These bright regions are correlated with the visible patterns in an image, with the exception of the center region, which often contains a non-patterned image information. We can use the Remove Pattern filter to perform mathematical surgery to remove these spots, making sure to avoid cutting out the center, and thereby generate an image with reduced pattern visibility. Let's see how simple it can be to remove a pattern. First, watch me. I'll select an image that has a pattern that I'd like to remove. This image has diagonal lines that are hindering our view. Now, from the Filters menu, I'll choose the Denoise submenu and then Remove Pattern. This brings up the Remove Pattern interface window and a duplicate image where any changes to the filter's parameters will take place. From here, I can cut out white spots manually by clicking and dragging to draw a circle around them or move the outer shape threshold slider to allow Video Investigator to automatically detect and select shapes. After minor adjustments to the parameters, it looks like the pattern has been completely removed for the main image content. I'll select Process to make my changes effective and Finish to close the window. I can now compare my original image with the pattern removed image. Before we begin the hands-on part of this tutorial, Let's take a closer look at the Pattern Remove interface. The center window shows the Fourier transform of the image that the filter has been applied to. Selections made in the Fourier transform are circled in green. The cut ratio slider determines what percentage of a signal should be cut. A cut ratio of 100% will often show the best pattern removal results but can cause loss of detail in an image. Lowering the slider can reduce this effect. You can have different cutout ratios for different sections of the Fourier transform by deselecting the Apply Ratio to All Shapes checkbox. The Auto Create Shape Threshold slider affects how sensitive the pattern removal filter will be when detecting shapes for removal. The Brightness slider affects the brightness of the Fourier transform. Different levels of brightness may improve contrast and make it easier to identify spots for removal. Now it's time for a hands on demonstration. Click on the Open File icon in the top navigation ribbon. Select the tilethumb.png file and click Open or simply double click the file. Go to the Filters menu and then the Denoise submenu and choose Remove Pattern. Begin by adjusting the Auto Create Shape slider. You will be able to see the pattern attenuate as you adjust. Compare different slider settings. Setting the slider to its maximum setting on the right provides the best visual clarity. Set the slider to its maximum and click Next. For this image, the Auto Create Shape slider missed a few spots. See if you could find them by clicking on the spots in the Fourier Transform. That's right. Perfect. Good work.
Good job. If the Outer Create Shape slider doesn't find all of the shapes, you can manually cut them out by selecting them with the left mouse button and dragging to create a circle around them like this. Be careful not to cut out the center, as this could impair image clarity. Once you have made a selection, you can rotate, resize, or delete selections. One may be tempted to select multiple spots for removal in one circle, but visual clarity is often better maintained by making precise selections. To save time, we've gone ahead and individually selected the areas not automatically chosen by the Auto Create Shape Slider. Choose Process to apply the filter settings and then click Finish to close the window. The output will be generated and will be available for further processing. Click Next to continue. It's possible to run the Remove Pattern filter again to remove areas they may have been missed the first time, like we've done here. Click Next to continue. Once finished processing the image, we can move it and compare it to the original image. Move the Pattern Removed window aside to reveal the original unprocessed image. Then click Next to continue. This comparison checkbox may make it easier to compare our results. Click Next to continue. Congratulations! You have successfully removed a pattern from an image using Cognitech Video Investigator's Remove Pattern Filter. This filter is a powerful tool for image enhancements in various situations. If you would like to repeat this tutorial, click on the repeat button. If not, choose End. For sales or technical questions, visit us at sales at cognitech.com or tech support at cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.